ironically, you mentioned Rob Bell. I, the reason I say it's ironic is because I don't really watch Rob Bell very much. I mean, I, I not that I wouldn't if someone sent me something. I just he's not on my radar. Yeah. But uh, somehow it came up in scrolling on YouTube something, and I just watched it. And what I found is he lives in the questions. Yeah. And 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 questions are good. I encourage people to ask questions about the Bible because if not, you won't grow. But he doesn't come to many conclusions. Right. And it seems like. He lets the unclear interpret what is clear in scripture versus taking what's clear, interpreting what's unclear. That's good. So I could go to stuff in scripture about hell and go, this is confusing. Right. Like that's, that's easy though, but yeah. he stops there right. and he allows that to infiltrate and determine the doctrine that he comes up with about the clear stuff. Right. Yep. Uh, well, Gehenna and, all, you know, it's like, right. yes, but here's what we do know. Yeah. And so I, I, I do think when it comes to Christianity, and we're talking about Christians and politics, not just politics in general, non, non-believers, right. but they live in the fog and not in the clarity of what the Bible says. And I do think radical progressive Christianity is super dangerous to the church. Yeah, I 100% agree. I, yeah, Rob Bell won't be pinned down. I've seen no. you know, interview after interview where he, he, he wants to circle it right back around. Well, do you think I know, this, or do you? you and know? there's there's an element I actually appreciate of it because yeah. he has questions that I have questions on, sure. but but he doesn't sit on the concrete things that I sit on right. and the church has sat on. Right. I used to honestly, I used to kind of have an attitude of I think this was in Bible college, but I think there was a little bit of an attitude that I had in my subconscious, in my reading and studying of Scripture of like, um, you know. I didn't really care what the church had taught for X amount of, you know, 2000 something years. I just didn't put a whole lot of weight into it. The older I got, the more I realized I, I need to know what the church has taught. Right. And even if there's disagreements now, it's really helpful to know why they did what they did. Right. And why they, and, and why, why everything? Yeah. Cause if my dad tells a story and I, I wish I remembered it uh, closer, but he tells a story of that. He read in a book of, this guy wanting to tear down these walls that were built by some, in some war or something like that. And an older gentleman comes up to him and says, hey, it's fine to tear down the walls but before you do. Make sure you find out why they were built there. Right, yep. And I feel like, I feel yeah. like we're just exploding right. orthodox teaching in the right. church. That's exactly right. 